the ADAS system fitted in every trains will be able to prevent head-on collision of trains. Triple head-on collision at Balasore is something which sadly happened just a few days back with many people losing their lives and many getting injured. How the head-on collision happened? We'll see in the later part of the video just for the ease of explanation. Since we started with ADAS, let's have a look at existing ADAS in cars and whether it can be implemented in trains as well. The ADAS or the Advanced Driver Assistance System in vehicles uses cameras, radars, lasers, sensors and other equipments. The ADAS equipments uses road markings, signs, GPS signals and sensors what's ahead or behind of the vehicle and their precise lane to guide the vehicles to travel safely. For trains, the train tracks will in itself provide proper marking for the camera and sensors to work. The ADAS system has worked excellently in proving its auto emergency braking system for many years in cars and trucks as well. It can provide warning and also apply brake on its own. If it works so well in cars, why not implement it in trains as well? That is the question we should be asking. The ADAS is also economically feasible. Even a 30 lakh rupees car has ADAS. The difference between an ADAS car and a non-ADAS car is around 3 lakhs. So the equipment is not that expensive. ADAS however has to be altered for railway specific needs. A thought for the research team, the Mahindras and Tatas of how they can help in achieving train safety. The government of India is planning to introduce a railway safety system called Kavach. But its high cost of implementation of rupees 20 lakhs for every kilometer all along the railway track with an additional cost of rupees 60 lakhs per train is delaying its implementation. One of its special features is to stop the train automatically if there is any manual error like jumping of a red signal among its other significant features. If you look at the Balasore incident, Kavach is not installed in Balasore tracks or on the three trains which were involved in collision. What happened was, at the Balasore junction, a goods train was stationed at the loop line as we can see on the screen. The Koromandal Express arrived at the Balasore junction. This is where the track is selected for the train to either move into main line or loop line. This is the work of the interlocking system. The signal given was green to enter main line but train entered loop line due to an error in interlocking system. The Koromandal Express went on with a speed of more than 120 km per hour and sadly had a head-on collusion with the already stationed goods train. The Ashwanpur Haura Superfast Express, which arrived later on the opposite direction's main line at the Balasore junction, collided with the scattered bogies of the Koramandal Express. Even if Kavach was installed, it would consider the same green signal given at the Balasore junction as valid and it would not stop the train as the signal was not red. Kavach would not consider it as jumping of the signal. The interlocking system would have set the direction to loop line like it did due to some error, the train would still enter loop line instead of main line. Hence, there would still be a head-on collusion even if Kavach was installed. In his response to West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee, who said that the incident would not have happened if Kavach system was present, the Indian Railway Minister Ashwini Vaishnav said that Kavach system has nothing to do with Balasore incident. The incident was mainly due to the change in interlocking system indicating that Kavach would not have helped to avoid the accident. A thorough investigation is still underway. The government can also look at upgrading the interlocking system so that it turns the signal to red whenever there is an error or manipulation in the interlocking system. The government is updating the interlocking system with two locks so that there are more checks and more people are accountable. But I think the government should look at upgrading the interlocking system to change the signal to red if there is any error or manipulation in the interlocking system. Now let us see what would happen if ADAS was implemented. If ADAS was fitted to Eshwanpur Haura Superfast Express, it would give out anti-collision warning signal as soon as it would detect the scattered bogies of Coromandel Express on its track. And it would apply emergency brakes by itself to prevent colliding with the scattered bogies. Now let us see what would happen if ADAS would have been implemented in Coromandel Express. The first thing it would do is it would have slowed down the train due to the curve of the track getting into loop line from main line and would have avoided any derailment due to over speed in the first place. Its anti-collision warning and emergency braking system would apply brakes all by itself to stop the train completely or at least help in minimizing the collusion to goods train. The ADAS system definitely would have avoided such a big disaster. 
One more must do at all junctions is that there should be longer loop lines so that there is sufficient time for the braking train to stop. I think the government has to look for multiple innovative solutions to have an effective railway safety system for trains. There should be multiple layers of independent railway safety systems so that it can take care of human errors as well as machine errors. Then only we can aim at becoming one of the safest railways in the world. If you like my video, please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos like this. Thank you.